Scotland. Why Hibernian? Why is this the best place for you to further your career now? Uh, to be honest, um, for me, I just want to play football. And then um, for, from the back of last season, I didn't play a lot. And then Hibs want to give me opportunities to actually improve myself and then further my career. So for me, I just, it's just about the games and to get minutes in my legs. That's, that's what is important for me now. So, so tell us about your career so far. Uh, you ended up at Manchester City first of all. Yeah, I was playing in an academy in Ghana and then uh, I was also playing for my country as well. From the youth under 17 I was a captain so uh, we played a tournament in um, uh, South Africa and then City came over to watch as well. And also the academy that I was playing with, we were in partnership with City. So City got to sign the best out of the guys there. So I was lucky to be among the best. So I got signed by City when I was like 18. And then from 18, I couldn't play in England due to some the permits and stuff, so I had to go alone. So I was alone in 20. I played the first half, but I got injured towards the first half of the season. And then the second half, it was quite quite difficult to get in. And then the season after, I went to Breda in the second division of the Dutch football. We got promoted to the first division, and then I stayed there for last year. But last year was quite difficult because. I was injured the whole time. I was injured for five months with my hamstring. Came back, played like six games, and then I got injured again, and then that was the end of the season. So, yeah. So, what did you know about Hibernian before you joined them? Uh, Brandon Barker is my mate, so uh, he was here last season. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, so um, he told me a lot about the club, and uh, I got down here to do my medicals, and I went and I saw the facilities, and it was nice, and I was like, yeah. It's just so I set this challenge and come over and then prove myself. Brandon was a big hit here last year. I take it you're coming here to make the same kind of impact? Yeah, to be honest, yeah, the same football. So I just come and I play my, I do what I do best, I do what I'm good at, and then hopefully I can probably do better or probably the same, I hope. Is that, is, but looking at how well he did, was that a big part of the attraction? You, you've seen a friend of yours come here and play well, you think, well, I can come and match him? For, to be honest, it's true because like when you want to go to a place and somebody have been there, you speak to the person and see how things are, and then I got positive stuff from him. Actually, he actually loved it, and then he even told me like, he wanted to come back at some point if he had a chance. So I was like, okay, wow, he's my good friend of mine, and if he's staying that, then I might as well come and then prove myself. Is it anybody else that's played in Scotland that you may have spoke to for either back home or, or City? No, not really. I know Effie from um, back in uh, Celtic days when he was Celtic. I was there for a few few weeks, but I know him, but I didn't spoke to him. But obviously Brandon was a City and I was with him at City, so it was easy for him to for me to chat with him rather than Effie. So he was the only person I chat with. What was your Celtic link? Were you there on, on trial? Or? Yeah, I was there on trial. I was there to see if I could go there on loan, but obviously I got injured, so it couldn't happen, so I had to go back to see. When was that? That was, uh, I think, th uh, three or four years ago. Who was the manager then? Ronnie Dial, I was the manager then, yeah. Was that a big blow? I mean, would you like to have had that? Would have been nice of an opportunity, but at the end of the day, it's football, you know. If you get injured, all you want is to get back fit. And I was young, I was 17 then, so what I was thinking about was playing and, and developing, no matter where it is. Because it's all about playing football when you're at that age. So for me, when I got injured, it was, I was very uh, sad. And because uh, I was injured, not because I wasn't going to tell, but because I was injured. That was what I was frustrated about. What can the fans here expect from you as a player? Um, well, to be honest, I like to attack, I like to dribble, I like to attack defenders and take them on and create chances. That was the kind of player I am, probably like similar to Brandon Barker. Yeah. It's the way that Neil, the manager, likes to play. He's uh, he likes to play attacking football, fluid football. Was that a big selling point? As well? I think I like it because um, training it kind of gave me the confidence to take defenders out of shooting and be afraid of making mistakes as part of the game. To do what I do best, you rather have me take players on and lose the ball rather than play the easy way. So I quite like it, and I think I improve a lot under him. Was Sadiq, did, you, did you play with, with him last year in Holland? Yeah, Omar I was with him in uh, Nagreda. Yeah, I actually came for the second half of the season. He was my good pal, and then uh, even we were talking when I say I, I when he signed with Rangers, and he was like, "Yeah, bro, you should come down here." So I'm like, "No, I'm going to hips," and he, I'm like, "Yeah, you we'll meet each other." And he's like, "Yeah, no problem. I'm in Glasgow. I'm in Edinburgh." He's like, "You'll come over, maybe if you have time to chill with me and stuff." So we even speak sometimes, and yeah. What are your long-term goals here at Hibernian? Is it just to play games and then 
go back to City and try and force your way to the first team? No, of course there's objective for the club and then I want to be part of it you know, just to come here and play games. I'm here to win, I'm here to do well, I'm here to actually do better than what uh, the club did yeah, last year. You know, uh, I'm not here just to play a game, I'm here to win, I'm here to actually take the club to another level. It's not only about myself, it's only about the club as well because they are giving an opportunity. So and it's, it's a team, full, it's a team sport, you know, just only about myself. It's also about what I do for the club. The club goes first than myself because if you play for the team, the individual shines. So it's all about uh, the team and what the team objective are. Yeah, I'm just a part of it to make sure that we achieve a common goal. So you're not seeing this as an opportunity to learn, you're seeing this as an opportunity to come and win things? Yeah, win things, of course. As a player, you want to win things, you want to leave a legacy, you want to leave your mark wherever you go. You just don't want to go there and play football. You just want to be part of a winning team. And actually, when the club has been spoken about this generation, you may not be part of it. Like when I went to Breda, you got promoted and then forever they will talk about the team that got them up. So you want to be a part of something like that. You just don't want to just play and leave, you know. Do you see yourself potentially in the future as a first team player for Manchester City? Yeah, of course, you never know. Sometimes you've got to go away and then come back like pop pop by that. Sometimes it's very difficult. At the moment, it's very, very difficult to get in. But maybe it's better you go away, develop, and then finally come back. So it's always a dream to play for City because actually they gave me an opportunity. So it would be a dream to actually break into the first team. But at the moment, it's difficult. But maybe, maybe I have to go away and then come back. Maybe this is if I do great. I can get an opportunity to go back. There's been a few Manchester City players come to Scotland recently. Patrick Roberts was another one who was at Celtic. Yeah. He's now gone to, to Italy, I think. Uh, no, to Spain. 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 Spain yeah. um, do you look at these players and think, OK, I, I can see that as part of the development? Yeah, of course. Uh, now, football, if you're doing well, and no, matter, no matter where you're playing, if you're doing well, you get noticed. And he's done well, and here yeah, I just want to do well, and then probably yeah, get the next step in my career. How difficult is it to break into that Manchester City squad? The first team is, you know, so many big, huge, yeah. stellar names. Yeah. Do, you, do you think it's achievable? It's achievable. It's football. You know, you never know. If, like, for example, you do well, you win stuff, and then uh, you get a chance with the preseason and you done well, it's, it's achievable because it's so, at the end of the day, it's, it's it's about showing yourself and proving yourself if you're good enough, and if you're given opportunity, are you ready to take it? Because you never know what football could take you. You never know what you might, you might find yourself. For me, I just develop it and when I get the opportunity, I just make sure that I take it and then, yeah, it's possible.